business cards arrived and I set them up with iJack app. Hey, this is Trisha Fugel's dad's business card. Hi, this is Trisha. We're gonna take a look at um, an augmented reality business card. First, let me show you what this one was doing. I'm in the iJack app, so when in the iJack app, it can read that card and then play it. Oh, I think I turned my volume off. But she comes to life, and it's because I set it up with augmented reality and given you access to the QR code. So I'm gonna walk you through some of these steps so you can explore this concept yourself. So I'm starting out with a design that was created in uh, Keynote, a Keynote app on the iPad. So I put in a bitmoji of myself with a cup of coffee. I drew some of the steam and animated it using the tools inside a Keynote. And then I wrote the word Fugal Fun and used the line draw animation. Now, that's super fancy, you don't have to be. This could have been a still image, but I definitely wanted my face in it so that I can do my augmented reality trick of putting a video in that face where I would talk to you. Did you notice this rectangle of black? I need to have a placeholder for where the QR code goes. So for right now, it's just the black square. I am in the green screen app by Doom Inc. And I brought in the video of the animation I just made in Keynote. You can see how it moves. Now this might be all you want. This could be it. This is the overlay that plays when the QR code is scanned. But I'm gonna just go a step further and put my face in that face because that's super fun to me. Here we go. I'm going to go to the masking tool and I'm going to use the magic wand, pinch with my fingers, two fingers is pinching, and then I'm going to just tap on my skin and it will select that color and take it away. There's some things I can't just tap on, like it might take too much of my eyebrows away, but actually that worked out just fine. My eyes are going away just fine. My nose, that worked. My mouth, almost. Okay, so now I'm gonna clean things up with an eraser. And if I erase something too much, I can just paint it back in. It remembers it. So I'm going to zoom in, clean up, and I'm keeping my glasses. My video is gonna come from behind this image. And my glasses will look like they're in the foreground while my video of my face will look like it's in the background. There is a little speck that I see got erased accidentally. So you're gonna get a chance to see me draw it back in. So I think I'm done with the eraser. I'm gonna switch to the paintbrush, get it a little smaller, and draw that spot back in. All right, I have an empty space now in my face. I'm gonna click done. It looks black right now. I'm gonna go to the layer below click plus and I could record live right now through the live camera feature. I should show you where that is. Add camera is at the very top and I could put my face in it but I'd have to hold the iPad pretty far away and be really steady and so I just did a pre-recorded video and I'm going to bring that in um, to my lower leg layer. Now, it's my active layer. I could tell because it has a yellow border. I'm going to use two fingers even though I can't see it. And I'm going to pinch and see if I can line it up here. It won't be perfect. 
And I want my eyes to show through the glasses and I want to fill that space. And it's gonna be fine. Now I can tell that my top movie is gonna be longer than my bottom movie. So I'm gonna touch my top one, then click the word trim. And now play it through, which I don't think I have my audio set up through the computer. So you're just gonna have to trust me that it's working and we'll listen to it later. Okay, I'm going to export this video, put it on my camera roll. So the trigger image definitely should say Fugal Fun on it, but it won't have this face. There's where the word Fugal Fun is. So this is the moment. That is the picture I want in my business card. So I'm just gonna go to image and capture. So what I did is I saved the picture that I want my business card to be. I'm gonna call that the trigger. And then I also had made this movie and we'll call that the overlay. So those two things are what we're gonna need for the next step. Okay, now we're in the iJack Creator app. I'm on the desktop and I'm pulling in the artwork, which is actually the trigger image. The image that you want for the cover of your business card. And then when you click next, you're going to go find your overlay. So that is the movie that we created, the animation. Um, when they're both in there, I click create and what iJack is doing is they're putting the trigger and the overlay on their server and they're going to generate a QR code for you that activates the augmented reality. So get ready to make a screenshot so you can capture the QR code and save that to your desktop somewhere. My next step is to go back to Keynote and put my QR code in that placeholder. And then I went to Vistaprint and went ahead and made a purchase for my business cards, of course. Here's what it looks like when I scan it with the iJack app. Hi, it's Trisha. Thanks so much for scanning that QR code and checking out this augmented reality. Pretty cool, right? Well, there's a lot of cool things I could share with you if you check out that link.